Now comes death, prologue, part one. A sober conversation had two brothers from the hospital bed. Travelled far to see young Blaine, a chance that would not come again. Just thirty years has now this grown child, old and much, for me to cancer trials. In his brother's eyes did see the arc of life soon to complete. He talked to pleasant stories past as my brother breathed his last. A favour holding hands, I asked, and one which he agreed would pass. Always protect me, he said. No tears fell on the hospital bed. No one protects me now from this. The journey all alone was his. A favour did ask, agreed, and donned. My brother was setting the sun. Did he go ahead and that was where he awaits? To tell me what past heaven's gates? No more for me but to leave in my solitude to grieve. As I left a cold hard place, a hotel, a dark hotel room now to face. As I sleep later upon me later came, at night now dark began the rain. A rustling on my ear did make to pull me from my restless state. Outside my room, and through the glass, a hooded shadow figure passed, awaiting me in the dark and gloom. I rose to cross my hotel room, as solemn was the phrase indeed. A glimpse of a dark cloak did not oid. Three glows did it know not to me, to gaze upon my destiny, a face of peacefulness and pain. No me- message would would I at certain, just holding out a crystal ball for me to gaze upon it all, all, past, present, future. Who could tell? No hope and fear, the depths of hell. And so I gazed upon the ball and saw a glimmer in the walls. The stories that the globe did say were mysteries to come my way. If mistakes the tales contain, I did my best to a certain say. And once this information gained, the figure disappeared again. The shadows in the crystal balls, as they've never been at all. I promise, kept all lies for snow show. The crystal book told me, in its glow, beyond, is but the death to know. But that to live to know.